the biggest challenge which we have, and I'll agree with you in one instance, that Bermuda should not be in the economic position in which it's in. It shouldn't be, especially when you have one of the highest per capita GDPs in the world. When you have this place where, you know, we are wealthy and we have this vast amount of wealth. The challenge is the structure of how Bermuda is set up. We allow people to earn money here, but we don't allow them to reinvest the money which they earn here inside of our economy. So what happens is that where you have an instance where, and I got the report the other day uh, from the BMA and I shared it, the PLP had a caucus retreat, and it was estimated that over the last 10 years, between $3 billion and $8 billion, which was earned in Bermuda, has left the Bermuda economy. So when faced with what the challenges were when we first came into office, and I guess this comes along a few things so far as what have you learned, we look at, and our policy has to be driven to, number one, we can't print money like the United States does. The United States, they print money because to increase their money supply, they just printed money. We can't print money. So the next best thing is to ensure that the money that is earned in Bermuda, we do as good of a job to keep it in Bermuda to continue circulating the Bermuda economy. So how do you accomplish those goals? There's a number of things, and there's a number of sacred cows that you have to touch. One of them is the whole issue of the 60-40 rule. Now, the minute you say 60-40, people begin to get scared. People are like, oh, well, you can't allow, you know, foreigners into Bermuda to start competing against local industries and all the rest. And that's a fair and valid point, because we are a small economy. But by and large, the 60-40 rule was not put in place to protect small business. It was put in place to protect the oligarchy. It was put in place so that capital could not come in to be more competitive for the existing industries. So when you have a space where you have a high cost of living, when you have a space where there may be not a lot of competition, you need to make the changes that can possibly provide additional competition into your economy, additional capital into your economy that may be able to increase the competitive things that go on. So if you have, instead of three insurance companies, four or five, if you have some people who are competing in other areas, such as food production and otherwise, these are spaces where you can actually see this competition happen. But that competition can only happen in the construct of the Bermuda economy is if we have additional capital coming to our shores or if we can use the capital that may be here in order to start and invest in additional businesses. So that's the challenge which we have. Because the only way that we're going to have economic growth is keeping more of that money here.